Uh, very excited. Um, I think over the last little uh, few years here, especially, um, missed a lot of hockey. Obviously, didn't want to do that, but um, you know, certain things uh, needed to be dealt with, and uh, yeah, definitely got a totally different mindset now, and I'm very, very excited. Good memories back here. Uh, absolutely. Uh, this is the place that uh, kick-started my professional career, and um, you know, they've been uh, great to me and Zinger and the Moose uh, right from day one. So, uh, a lot of great memories, and it's good to be back here and um, you know get my hockey career back on track again. Well, what are your hockey goals at this stage? Uh, at this stage, it's, uh, you know, I think uh, even over the past few years here and, um, you know, just playing and playing with Vancouver, I think, uh, you know, I, I was playing, but I, I don't think uh, within myself, I don't think I was ever playing really to my full potential that I know I can play. So, um, you know, and I've always wanted to show a side that I haven't been able to do yet. So I think that's my focus and, um, you know, like I got a clear mind. Um, you know, healthy, uh, you know, happy uh, with myself than I've ever been. So, um, you know, I think if I, uh, you know, I think it's going to be how I behave and how I act over time. But, um, you know, I think just taking it one day at a time and I'm I'm more excited about hockey than I've ever been in my life. So. How long do you expect to be here, Rick? Any idea? Uh, I, as, as long as I need to be here. So um, it's, uh, you know, it's a great place to play. It's a great place to be. And, uh, you know, I'm very excited for this opportunity. And, um, you know, I think... Uh, I'm going to be working harder than ever works. So. What kind of kick you away from the game? Are they behind you now? Do you still deal with them? Uh, no, they're, they're behind me, but they're, uh, one thing I do absolutely 100% want to clarify is that there's no substance abuse uh, at all. Like that's the, that's the farthest thing this is from. It's uh, a personal matter. It's kind of a rare issue. And, um, you know, even though it took, it's taken me away from, um, you know, hockey and the game I love and, you know, what I am and, it's, uh, you know, doing the things and doing the work that I've done the last couple of months, it's, uh, I've made a lot of gains as a person, as an individual with myself. So, um, you know, and I got to really understand and have a relationship with myself, which I've never had the opportunity to do before. So I think, uh, you know, working on that and, and just keep working on myself and um, how far I've become and, and kind of progressed these last few months, I think, um, you know, I really believe deep down that it's only going to benefit my honest performance now and um, kind of make me... Uh, whole and I think you know the more as I go on I think the more you know can talk about it and um, but uh, you know and hopefully one day um, I could help other hockey players um, that might be experiencing difficulties with um, whatever they're dealing with on on the off ice so I think it's uh, you know as tough as it was it's uh, I got a lot of positive and a lot of gains out of it and it's, it was a big eye-opener for me and uh, but now I think uh, you know I I know who I am better than I've ever had um, before so I think uh, moving forward um, I want to play as much hockey as I can for as long as I can. What's the biggest thing you learned about yourself during this time? Um, I think just to just to be happy, you know, just to be happy with, uh, you know, just with just with who I am, just be comfortable with who I am, just with life. And you know, I, I like to put a lot of pressure on myself. I like to be, you know, the, the best that I can be. And I think it sometimes I think it it kind of has the opposite effect. And um, you know, I think it's just taking it one day at a time and. Um, like I said, I, I feel happier than I've ever been. I'm excited. Um, you know, obviously, yeah, it, it could be in terms of, like, the overall picture. It, is, it could be a setback in terms of what I've lost over the last few years with hockey, but in terms of where I'm at right now and standing here right now and, and being in Winnipeg and being with the Moose, um, you know, I couldn't be happier. And I'm, I am very excited, and I am very grateful for this opportunity and the support I've had from Vancouver, from uh, Manitoba, from Zinger, um, from, you know, teammates and you know obviously my family so it's been it's been it's 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 encouraging to know the support you do have out there um i think it was one of those things that just kind of got to the point where um yeah it was it was just taken away from the player that you know i normally am on the ice or can be on the ice and um and i think uh, just not dealing with uh, you know lots over the years and just kind of letting it pile up pile up and you know and I'm, I'm not a quitter by any means so i i was dealing with a lot and i was trying but um you know, I think at times just trying to deal with it on my own a little bit too much and not reaching out for the support that I did have out there. And now I'm more aware than ever that, you know, it's okay to ask for help and um, people will help you.